Welcome to ITU Telecom World 2017 here in Busan in the Republic of Korea, where I'm very pleased to be joined today by the Honorable George Nin Yandia, who is Deputy Minister for Communications. Mr. Randa, thank you very much for being with us in the studio today. Thank you. Thanks for having us here. Um, Ghana is privileged and we are honored and humbled to be given this opportunity to engage with you. Well, we're very pleased indeed to have you here. Now, the theme for this year's event has been Smart Digital Transformation. What does it mean in Ghana? Uh, well, in Ghana, we say it's Digitime. Um, um, His Excellency the President keeps on saying that he wants Ghana to become the most business-friendly and the most people-friendly economy on the continent. And obviously, um, everything like this is going to run on the back of solid technology. So when we're talking about the theme, um, I think it's very it's, 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 it's in sync and it's consistent with what Ghana believes in. Um, um, all our services are from you, you, you're talking about the health sector, you're talking about agri, you're talking about housing, you're talking about transportation, um, you're talking about education, you're talking about security. The backbone that all these services are going to run on in future is technology. And I think um, it's, it's, it's just apt that the theme fits into what Ghana, Ghana is doing. Um, so, once we are saying it's GD time, it's, it's, it's GD time in Ghana. We're looking at, um, at, at the, the national ID system. Um, we're looking at the housing address system. Um, we're looking at paperless offices. We're looking at e-government services. And um, it's interesting that at the, at the port, just um, one week after we had introduced um, paperless transactions, um, our revenue increased by 56% year on year. Um, so just cutting out the waste, just reducing the opportunity for people to be corrupt um, and the speed at which people are claiming their thing. So it, it's, it's, it's a good time. I mean, we are, we are fully in sync with the theme and we are actually practicing it in Ghana. That's brilliant. And what do you think are the major challenges and opportunities over the next five years, let's say, in terms of the, the you know, digital technologies? I mean, I, I, there are a number of challenges that I envisage. I mean, one would be... Um, people resisting change, um, people used to doing things in a different way and now having to use technology um, and they feel like it's, it's a bit difficult for them to change their old habits but I mean that, that, that is normal, we have to keep on engaging them. Um, the other thing is to make sure that we have the right, the right policies, we have the right regulatory framework um, to make sure that we are ready um, for the, the, the takeoff that is, is, is happening. Um, there's a bit of infrastructure that needs to be put, in, put on the ground and we need to make sure that we have the right infrastructure at the right place, um, delivering the right solutions to, to um, all, the, all the, the players of the, of the ecosystem. And I think one, one other thing is to make sure that we are building the right capacity, we are building the right skills, we are building the right competencies in our people um, for them to be able to take advantage of the, um, of, of the whole digitization process. Um, as far as the benefits are concerned, I, mean, I, mean, I think it's a, it's a no-brainer. It's, it's, it's a better way of doing business, a better way of living. Um, um, the vision of the president, making sure that Ghana becomes the most business-friendly and the most people-friendly um, economy on the continent. Um, once you go into detail, then it means that your, your taxation processes are, are, are better monitored. Your, the way the companies are registering, um, if, if you, so you take down from entertainment to, to the ways of doing business and everything is going to be transformed. So the, the, the benefits are, are clear. I mean, I mean we, we came, came to Busan and we are, seeing, we are seeing the benefits of a smart city. I mean, very soon Accra should become a smart city, and 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 I think that uh, there's no, um, it's not negotiable. It's not, it's not negotiable. We are quite excited, and and we are ready, we are ready for that opportunity as well. And what about e-government services? How's Ghana working towards those? Well, um, at the moment, we've launched a number of e-government services. 
um, there's e-parliament, so um, the members of parliament are, are working smart. It's not 100% it's not complete, but um, we are almost there. There's e-immigration, so um, there's a database that's being collected quickly. People are being cleared at the ports. Um, their travel experience is, 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 is much better. So there are, I mean, there are a number of e-services that, that are, are, are on plan, and, and we are in a good place to, to, to deliver these, these experiences to, to the right stakeholders. And finally, what's the? I mean, we talked a little bit about you attending this event. It's a, it's quite a way to, to get here, and obviously, it's been an investment for Ghana to be here with the pavilion, etc. What's the value of attending events such as ITU Telecom World? Um, I, I think there are, there are a number of benefits. I mean, the first one, of course, is a networking opportunity, um, making sure that we are we are in line with the new technologies that are being discussed, making sure that we are connected to to the right organizations, the right people. Um, we brought some SMEs over, uh, making sure that they also have an opportunity to to engage with uh, with, with other exhibitors, exhibit um, making sure that they can engage with with uh, with other potential um, businesses. Um, and I think for me, the the other thing was to try and get into the the the, the right way of doing things. Um, you, you, you learn from, from, from the countries that have taken the step forward and uh, we want to leapfrog these things. So um, there's an opportunity to ask the right questions and to, to, to set up the right meetings. And, and of course, as far as Ghana is concerned, we are putting ourselves up for renomination on the, on the executive council. And it, it is a great opportunity for us to, to show the rest of our colleagues what we are capable of doing, what we are doing in the country, and the reason why they should give us another opportunity to serve on the council. Well, it certainly, certainly sounds like you're doing great things. Deputy Minister George Ninienda, thank you very much indeed for being with us. Thanks for the opportunity and take care of yourself too. Thank you. Yeah,